That's nice. What are those knobs? It has, you put the handles on. And hook the handles on down here. And the bottom handle here actually toggles. We hope it fits into the door. It should. I took the door off the hinges. Okay, got wheels front and back, and then the little height adjusters right here. Simple. All right. Okay. What's this little thing back here? That's for the water. That's for the water. Okay. Oh, okay. And they are just making these things to fit. Okay. Yeah, I took these little shoe hat, shoe rack doors off of the thing on the wall. It was just like a half inch too wide. Now we got clearance. I'm going to take the filter off because we got a new hose, so we'll get rid of this situation. Okay. That's smart. We'll get the hose taped to the top so it doesn't get kinked. Power cord plugged in. Water turned on. Is this supposed to be like that or? Yes, I put that there so it, it won't hit here. It oh, spaces oh. it. Okay, multi airflow. There we go. It's got really big shelves in the door. And three shelves is normal in here. And then two sliders and one crisper. Tighten it up in the bottom. And really, the only assembly now is putting the handles on. And they just go in with an Allen wrench, right? Yes. So there's the filter. It just twists in there, closes off. Angles up toward the inside. This just peels off, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what comes off. Not much in here. We got some tape here. So that's the best practice, take to the side, to the back, top and back. You're not going to see this, but it keeps everything from dangling everywhere. I took this, just 2x10 out, 2x6, I put a 2x8 back here on the floor, laying flat. That way when I push it back, I don't have to lock the wheels, I don't have to worry about it coming over and hitting. This one has plenty of room. Okay, they give you this little wrench. Small end goes on here. And then turn this with your fingers first to get it going all the way. So it starts to hit. Back wheel footing. Once it starts to hit, go do the other side the same way. There's a 
going to try to go up the same amount. Make sure this is level. I know the floor is level. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure it's level and grip this so when you pull the doors, the refrigerator doesn't pull out front. Board you know. See, pretty level. I think I need to come up on this left side here. Just a little bit, a couple turns. Here we go, level. This comes with a 332nd Allen wrench. And there was this addendum part. It said, use these snap rings to align the doors. Lift up the door with one hand at the middle hinge. With another hand, use pliers to insert snap ring. Insert additional rings until the doors are aligned. Okay, we have the refrigerator leveled from a side to side perspective, and they also said it's common for the refrigerator to drop a little bit from front to back, and that's okay. But these doors are not even, you can see. So we need to raise this door. I found out what those locking pins were for. They lift up way high. Ready? Yep. There we go. Got it. That made it go a little higher. We're going to put two in. Let's see if it's even. There we go. That's close enough. Now let's open that a couple of times to make sure it doesn't fall out. Okay, they're in there. You can see them. Two little washers, tight snap nuts. Make sure on your shelves you take that tape off, otherwise they get stuck. You'll be fiddling with it. Okay, we're going to take this out. Basically it just lifts up off of those slots. Okay, and when you want to put it in this little thing goes over this slot over here, too. Okay. Okay, when we lift this out, it's lift up on the back, and if you pull this out, you see this has a notch right here that goes down. This has a double notch. This little end goes in first, and then it pops in the end. Push them straight in. So notice you can only have one of these in at a time. This can't be in the same hole as the one above it, so you have to stagger these shelves like that. Okay, this is very minimal in terms of the controls. There's no Wi-Fi. Basically, when you have the freezer temperature, you push the button, it'll go down, and then you just keep cycling around, go back to where you want it, and same for the refrigerator, you keep toggling. Your other choice is Ice Plus. If it's off, it's regular ice generation. If it's on, it'll do faster ice generation. And then this light will come on when it's time to replace your water filter. Okay, this handle lifts up. It toggles a little bit. And then two bins for the freezer, and this starts coming out. You got your bin, and then there's an on-off switch on the freezer right here. That's about all the controls you have. And recommend lining this with a piece of rubber so it's not so loud. Okay, here's how we change the water filter. You push little tabs on the side, pull this down, and it may have some water drippings come out. So we put a little towel down, pull it, turn it left. And it pops out. A little dripping. Okay. And when it's automatically, the refrigerator senses it's time to replace it, that will light up. And if you hold that for three seconds, the light will go away. So, we put it in. See the little tabs here on the water filter on the side? They go in these openings right here on the top and bottom. Push it in. Turn it to the right. And it stops. Push it up. 
supposed to go up all the way? I guess not. I guess it lays in here. There we go. And the first time through, when you're using this, both through the water filter and ice maker, you're supposed to run through two and a half gallons of water of ice. We don't have a water dispenser, so it would be ice. So imagine two buckets of the ice. These doors have a nice little kind of auto shut themselves when they get close. In the freezer. And we really like that the sides are magnetic. Put a bunch of the family pictures in our room. So this is not a Wi-Fi refrigerator, but it does have, in addition to the normal controls, this smart diagnosis logo. First thing we're going to do is get this registered with the app, and then we're going to run through smart diagnosis. Okay, we start the LG app, hit add device, and then we hit select device. Make sure the power cord is plugged in, and hit next. Getting ready to add device. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi for this device, so I'm going to hit refrigerator. Add manually. There's nothing. Add whatever you want here. Hit connect. And there's obviously no Wi-Fi. I hit can't find the button. Click that. Scroll down. I don't have a display. It's a non-Wi-Fi device, so I click if not, tap here to add a non-Wi-Fi device. Okay. I do not have a tag on, so I hit no. I do have a smart diagnosis logo. So I'm going to hit yes. And this is a French door. Click French door. Does your refrigerator have controls on the door? No, it's on the top of the frame. Hit no. Adding the refrigerator. And I'm going to call it OK and hit go to home. And it's added. And you can see some other devices I have. Let's click on it. And the only thing it can do is run the smart diagnosis and I'm going to show you how that works. So that's the only function. There's no other built-in Wi-Fi. Okay, let's see how smart diagnosis works. We're going to hit LG French door. You can catch problems early to help you troubleshoot them, get started. Open the right door. Hit next. Position the phone's microphone at the smart diagnosis. Okay, we have it there. And then come over here to freezer and hold this button. Press the next button and hold the freezer down. This freezer button. Okay, it looks like it's rebooting. Okay. There you go, smart diagnosis is done. So that sound was a message that went into the microphone in my app, which decoded it and told it temperature is okay, evaporator, defrost, fan, motor, everything is okay. So, recommendations, freezer doors average open count for the last one day, seven times, usage pattern zero to four times. Leaving the freezer door open will lead to huge energy consumption. I got that. Keep your food fresh. Refrain from opening the door. The data updates hourly. Do not completely fill the unit. Use up to 75% available space. Overfilling will interfere with cooling air circulation. The fridges count 41 times. Yep, we've been setting it up, doing a bunch of tests. You can contact customer support. And I'm not going to make a phone call. And 
Diagnosis complete. Was a smart result helpful? I suppose yes. Okay. That's all it does, and you can rate the app. All right, it's finished. Put some vitamins and medicine, condiments, large drinks, plenty of room, sweet condiments, hot peppers, cooking condiments, tall drinks here, a couple of these lazy Susan things, bread shelf, eggs and meat, prepared goods, a couple more containers of stuff, lots of room for vegetables, really big vegetable containers. More veggies here. Lots of cheeses and meats, luncheon meats. All right. And got a bunch of this is our vegetable and fruit bin. I don't put meats in here. Some prepared foods in the ice bin loading up. Finished. LG makes great appliances.